uh, as we can set, uh, Boot Manager is responsible for loading various types of UFI images, applications, and according to specification, UFI recognizes the following binaries uh, or, or applications. So first of all, there are UFI images, and UFI images are a class of files which contain executable code. Um, this uh, the format of that file use subset of P32 plus specification, and the specification um, can be found in the internet. Um, this is open format. Um, those files are different by um, depending on the subsystem and and uh, uh, machine. Um, and machine parameter describes the processor architecture of the executable. So, in, so we can have like uh, various architectures supported um, through various uh, uh, types of files. And subsystem that, uh, describes if the executable is an application, boot service, or runtime runtime service. So this is uh, this is um, defined in the in file during the compilation. There are UFI applications which are loaded by a manager uh, by boot manager. Um, so some applications. So there is this, this this problem with division of labor between kernel and, and operating system. So some application may perform um, exit boot services. So that means they terminate all the, all the support and pass, pass the control to something else. Uh, and that's, that's typically the way, the, the way how UFI OS loaders work. So because those are UFI, uh, UFI application that take over platform control and passes, pass the control to OS and either uh, OS loader or, or OS kernel at some point um, calls uh, uh, UFI exit boot services. And finally, there are UFI drivers, which are um, which have two types, uh, boot service drivers and runtime service driver. And uh, as we explained, boot service driver exposed functionality for the OS loader and runtime, runtime service drivers expose functionality hardware access functionality typically for operating system. And bootloader code, uh, boot manager code, uh, understands how to load those uh, images, th those applications, OS loaders, drivers, um, and provides required config and how to provide co required configuration data for, for those files. And uh, as, as, as we mentioned before, th those types of files, this division, through types of files uh, cause a lot of con confusion um, because um, uh, since behavior of your five application is not consistent in, in context of who calls UFI exit boot services, the responsibility between operating system and operating system loader is blurred and, uh, and it's not clear and this may cause uh, various, various issues.